Edge, that's where the Christmas party's going to be, Bob. Ezza, Ezza! Yes, Lofty. Mr. Bentley said he would meet us here. Oh, Bob, there you are at last. Hello, Mr. Bentley. I think the party centerpiece should go right here, don't you? Great idea. We'll build the giant sleigh in no time, Mr. Bentley. Wonderful. I love Christmas Eve. Oh, and of course, there's all the extra bits to do as well. Did he say extra bits? Uh oh. And so. We need to arrange the snow scene, the tree, and put up all these lights. I ordered hundreds. This will be the best Christmas party Fixum has ever had, all the way along the seafront as far as the galleon. That's all going to take some time to put up. But, but, it's Christmas, Wendy. We'll make sure Fixum gets its Christmas party, Mr Bentley. And it will be the best ever. Thank you, Bob. OK, team. Let's get to work. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Oh, the sleigh looks great, Bob. But what colour will it be? Well, I was going to paint it red. Oh, and gold. Huh? Yes, can it be red and gold? Uh, of course. You really do love Christmas, don't you, Mr Bentley? Yes, ever since I was a little boy, I've always dreamed of having the best possible Christmas party. Now, we need more snow and more lights. Wow, Mr Bentley is so excited. <laughs> he is. But then who isn't? Is there snow yet? Not yet. Once the fluid is in, the machines need to be switched on. Oh, then is there snow? Not quite. The machines churn up the fluid to make tiny white bubbles that stick together and that makes the pretend snow. All done. Do you two want to go down and watch the snow fall over the tree? <gasps> I'm going to see it snow! <laughs> I think that's a yes from Leo. Ooh, the display is almost finished and I've still not given Bob his present. We're going to test the snow machines. Are you coming to watch? Oh, yeah, sure am. Definitely! Um, I'll be there in a minute. Oh, lovely, please! Don't mess up the display again. I won't. I'd love to give Bob his Christmas present when it's actually snowing. Oh, where is it? <gasps> there. Slowly and gently. Right, new plan. Give it one big. Uh oh. Again. Okay, Wendy, make it snow in three, two, Tim! Now! 
wasn't supposed to happen, was it? <gasps> the display! It's ruined! Oh, dear. <laughs> this is fun! Look at me, everyone! This is totally extreme! That is extreme! Extremely dangerous! Stop, Scoo! I can't stop! That's because you're not wearing snow chains. <laughs> Are you okay up there? <laughs> We're fine, Bob. This is awesome. Hold on tight. I'm going to have to hit the emergency brake. But, Bob, the closest brake is all the way down at the base terminal. Then there's only one way. Here you go, Bob. Go, Bob! But watch out for my snowman. Sorry for ruining your ski run. I just wanted to have fun on the snow like everyone else. Maybe I could make it up to you by building you a really big jump. Yes, please. That would be totally... Extreme? Yeah. Sounds like a plan, Scoop. We'll set up the night skiing lights while you build the jump. Let's go. can't have a medieval festival without a castle, can we? I'm very excited about my starring role in the festival tonight. Oh, the castle doesn't have a portcullis. Best get Bob onto this straight away. Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. We'll be there right away. OK, we need to build a portcullis for the castle. Now, does anyone know what a portcullis is? It's like a big gate that can be lifted up and down. And it looks as if we've got some repair work to do on the drawbridge too. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Make sure you secure your winch, Leo. Okay, Wendy. Oi! How dare thee trespass! I command thee to retreat, foul beast! Leo, is everything secure? Take this and that! <laughs> Leo! Leo! That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? <laughs> I guess I'll just have to find a different way out. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? Oh. What's wrong, Leo? Oh. I think it's a ghost. You're no match for the gallant prince, Fixalot. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, Leo. Just sit tight. I've got a brilliant plan to get you out. First, we're going to need to fix the drawbridge so it's strong enough for Muck to cross. It's heavy. Oh, who's there? Gull, is that you? Hello, Your Majesty. Oh, no! 
<coughs> my, my, you look like you've seen a ghost. I didn't startle you with my fabulous vocal warm-ups, did I? Uh, of course not. <laughs> right. There you go, Prince Fix-A-Lot. Um, thanks a lot. Yay! Yay! Well done, Bob! Well done, team! Bye, nice Bob. Bob! The castle is ready for the festival. I'm so excited about the sand sculpture competition today. Have you brought the sand? It's on two tons low loader. Ah, here he is now. But why do we need sand, Bob? There's loads here. Sculptures made from building sand last longer. Oh, OK. We'd better get the beach set up or there won't be a competition. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. have an official weather forecaster for the event, Bob? I'd be happy Ooh, to... Can I do that, Bob? I've got a new weather app on my phone. According to this, the forecast for Spring City is excellent. Great! But make sure you keep checking in case it changes, Leo. Welcome, everyone, to the Sand Sculpture Competition. Let the sculpting begin! <laughs> it looks like fun, doesn't it, Wendy? We've got an extra sand mould and plenty of sand. Yeah! What's the weather forecast, Leo? Still sunny, Mr B. Oh? Hmm. 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 Have you checked the weather lately? It's looking very stormy up there. Just a few minutes ago. Here, look. <gasps> Leo! You've been checking Spring City in the Bahamas! <gasps> this is our Spring City forecast! Oh no! Bob, I've been checking the wrong weather forecast! There's a massive storm on the way right now! But what about the sculptures? I've got a tarpaulin we could cover them with! Right team, we've got sand sculptures to protect! Can we save them? Yes, yes we can! can. Right, let's have a look at these sand sculptures. How long have we got to finish off the sculptures? Just ten minutes. <gasps> oh, that's brilliant. Thanks. Fantastic! Ta-da! Oh. Never mind, it's the taking part that counts. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> it's time to announce our worthy winners, Leo and Curtis! Huh? Yeah! yeah! Well done! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Quick, Space Robot Muck, get ready for hyperspace! Right behind you! You two look like you're having fun! We're playing Space Robots in hyperspace! Maybe you should think about getting some sleep. Oh, can we stay up a bit longer, Bob? <laughs> OK. But remember, you're having a sleepover because we've got a very early start. Thanks, Thanks Bob. Bob. I've made up the sofa bed for you, Leo, so don't be too late. OK. <laughs> what? What? It can't be morning already. Good morning, Leo. All ready for the big day. Morning, all. Nice to see you up bright and breezy. Leo, I need you to load those hooks and plates onto muck, please. <sighs> yes, Bob. Today, we're finishing off the Spring City wheel. Yesterday, we built the A-frame and Dizzy cemented it in. So today, we have to build the wheel itself and raise it up so it can spin around. Then we have to fit the observation pods for people to sit in. The pods are fitted with hooks and metal plates, so we need you to bring them to the site. So let's get going! Last one there is a wheelbarrow! I already feel like a wheelbarrow. Permission to rest up for a bit? Oh, good idea. If we have a quick nap now, we'll be full of energy later. So, these are the observation pods. And the curved steel tubes for the outside of the wheel are over there. 
So now all we're missing is Leo and Muck with the hooks and plates. Don't we need Leo and Muck if we're going to get the job done before the Spring City rockets get here? Let's press on anyway. One Spring City wheel coming up. Steady as she goes. Still no sign of Leo and Muck. No. I'll try calling them. Ugh. Hello? Leo, where are you? We need those hooks and metal plates right now. Sorry, Bob. We stopped for a bit and, um, drifted off to sleep. What? But don't worry. We'll be back with you just as soon as I wake Muck up. Bob, everyone, I'm so sorry for being late. Well, you're here now. So, Lofty, let's get these pods fitted. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Yay! <laughs> well, Space Captain Leo, are you going to have a go on the wheel? <laughs> like stretch is it really deep it is the biggest i've ever seen that is amazing can we see can we see no Lofty. i can't let anyone through Ooh, i can almost see him from here there we're all ready to go. If we get the road finished by rush hour, we'll still have time to clear up all these leaves from last night's rainstorm. Yes, good thinking. Come on, Trent, let's go. Sure thing, Bob. I hope it doesn't rain again tonight. I don't like getting wet. And I don't like thunder. Uh, Merc, are you moving closer to that who? No. Uh, what was that you were saying about thunder? I said I don't like it very much. Muck, you just moved back. When? Just then. No, I didn't. There, you did it again. I thought you said this road wasn't safe for big vehicles like you and me. It's all right, Lofty. I'm the safety officer, so I know what's safe. What? Oh, it's just a big hole. <gasps> ah! Oh, what's happening? <gasps> oh, no! Whoa! Muck, what's going on? The road is sinking. What shall I do? I'd stay very still if I were you. I don't want to be near the sinkhole anymore, Bob. I want to get out. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Don't worry, Muck. Stay calm. We'll have you out of there in no time. Whoa! Me. Help! Muck! Help. You must stay Help. very still or you could topple onto your side. Help. Lofty, Anyone? attach your hook to Muck. Right here, Bob. Help! Help! I want to get out of here! Keep calm, Muck. <laughs> right, when I say three, Lofty, I want you to pull and Muck. I want you to drive forwards, OK? OK, Bob. Yes, Bob. One, two, three. I'm going over. Really pull, Lofty. Four parts sand and one part cement. All ready for your assessment, Leo. Yes, but I'm a bit worried, Dizzy. What if everything isn't finished for when Wendy gets back? Just work as fast as you can, Leo. Then it will be. Yeah. That's a great idea, Dizzy. I'll work super fast.
certainly worked fast, Leo. That's good. Right? Well, fast isn't always best. I suppose it is a bit messy. Hmm. And look, this bubble isn't in the centre. That means the wall's not level. Oh. It isn't good enough to pass the assessment, is it, Bob? No, I'm really sorry, Leo. It isn't. Oh, I rushed it because I wanted to have it finished on time for Wendy. I think Wendy would rather you get it right and pass. Now, how about you start again? Oh, yes, please, Bob. And this time, it'll be perfect. Yay! You can do it, Leo! I've taken out all the poles, Shifter. You just dumped them all as well. But dumping's what I usually do. I thought you'd make a nice, neat pile like mine. You should have said. Oh, yeah, silly me. Mock, can you make a nice, neat pile like mine, please? Yes, yeah, Shifter, I can. Brilliant! <laughs> mm, uh... Lofty and I have to go back to the yard, Dizzy. You need to stay here with Leo till we get back. That's OK, Bob. No problem. Just make sure he takes it slowly this time. Mm hmm That's more like it, Leo. Lofty and I are nipping out for a while, OK? Of course, Bob. See you later. You can do this, Leo. You just need to slow down. Get into a rhythm. I know, but how? I'm not very good at going slowly either. Uh, oh, I know. Have you got any music on your phone? Something with a rhythm that you can work in time to? Uh, slow. Slow. How about this? Wow, that is really slow. Perfect! Off you go! Oh, this is wonderful! Oh, where have those snowflake lights gone? Oh, no! Ah, oh, Wendy's finished too. Now I can test the lights. Wait, Mr Bentley, there are too many lights! Oh. 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 That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Connected too many lights and overloaded the power supply. But the party's just about to start. You can fix it, can't you, Wendy? I'm really sorry, Mr. Bentley, but there's no way I'll be able to get the power back on in time. But how will we see the song sheets, uh, unwrap the presents, and get Christmassy in the dark? Get... Oh! 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 Look out! Oh! Oh! Mr. Bentley! Are you all right? Ouch! Oh, no. The party's ruined. And it's all my fault for wanting it to be too grand. Oh, I was really looking forward to it. Me too. Ah, right now, I'd settle for any kind of party rather than none at all. You know, that might be possible. I know somewhere that's smaller but has its own electricity generator in case of a power cut. We could move the party there. Oh, yes, please, Bob. Anything is better than nothing. Right, team. We need to move fast. Yes, yes Bob. Bob. Would you do the honours, Mayor Madison? Certainly, Bob. And can I say that this is going to be a brilliant party? <laughs> Presents for everyone! Mince pie, Bob? You deserve it for saving Fixum's Christmas. Mmm, thanks, Chef Tatty. 
We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You know what, Bob? I think we should have Fixum's Christmas party at the yard every year. You do? Absolutely. And I've got some great ideas to make it even better. How about a giant Christmas carousel with 100 dancing elves pirouetting around the edge and a mechanical flying sleigh zooming above with a tall helter-skelter snow slope perfect for sledging? You could build... There. All done. Now to tidy up. Mark? Oh, where's he gone? Mark? Mark! Ooh! Mark! Coming, Bob! I'm here, Bob. Ah, Mark. Would you take away this pile of earth for me, please? Oh, yes. Right away! Brilliant. I can use this to build up my muck jump. You need to hurry, Mark. We've still got a lot of work to do to finish the course on time. Oh, uh, uh, yes, Bob. Oh, uh, just get rid of this. I'm back. And look what Bob gave me. Just a little bit higher and the ramp will be ready. Oh, I can't wait to jump. Good job, Leo. That looks amazing. Thanks, Lofty. I guess we should tidy up. Hmm. Where's Muck? Muck! Here I am, Leo. Oh, could you take away the earth and all those unused logs, please? Sure, Leo. So, have you learned to jump yet, Muck? Nearly, Scoop. Very nearly. <laughs> to add a finishing touch. It's ready, go. Now, before I show the others, I need to take a practice jump. It's always good to practice. Three, two, one, go! Oh, too high. Oh! Ouch. We'll need Muck if we're to finish building the course in time. But where is he? I told him to hurry. He took some stuff away from me just now. Muck! 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 Uh, it's not like Muck to just disappear. We need to find him quickly. Let's split up. Right yes, Muck! Muck, where are you? <laughs> Muck! Scoop! Can you get me out of here? Oh, no! Bob! Leo! Lofty! I've found Muck! Don't worry, Muck. Bob's coming. Happy birthday, Curtis! A slap-up lunch at Chef Tatty's, eh? Now that's a proper birthday treat. Now, Bob, until we get back, you'll have to look after my garage. Let's go! OK, team. We're going to be working on a big birthday surprise for him. Oh, well... We're giving Curtis's Garage Workshop a complete makeover. I love garages. If I hadn't gone into building, I reckon I could have been a mechanic. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Slowly. A little to the left. And now all the way down. Well... That's the final panel of roof in place. Looks like we'll have Curtis's surprise finished right on time. Hello. I seem to have a bit of a problem. OK, Mr Bentley. I think all the tyres are at the right pressure. Yes, but I think maybe a little more in this one. A little more. No, no I think that's too much. Bob, you've got a bit of a queue building up. Hiya, Bob! Hi, Betsy. 
I'll be with you soon. We need to get on with putting up the neon sign. So, how are you, Betsy? Well, I I've been better, Scoop. I've got this funny rattle, you see. Yeah, you need to get that looked at sharpish. Follow me! Now, where's the stop button? Scoop! Where's the stop button? Betsy! Betsy! Are you OK? I'm fine, Bob. I should never have put Betsy on the lift. I'm a useless mechanic. I'm sorry, Bob. Don't worry, Scoop. How are we going to stop Curtis and Leo getting back? Hi, Bob. Listen, Leo, we need more time to finish the workshop. I've sent Scoop down to meet you. What's going on? Oh, I don't feel well. What's the problem? I've got this funny rattle. <coughs> rattle? No, oh, uh, I heard that. Yeah. Yes, I definitely rattled there. Right. I think we're all ready for the birthday, boys. Happy, Happy birthday, Candice! Whoa! And I baked this for you, too. That's amazing! Thank you, everyone! <laughs> no, Kitty, you'll get poor prints all over me. Get off! Is there nowhere I can find some peace and quiet? Put these here. Oh, I suppose this will have to do. Uh. <laughs> ah, there's a battle beard. Oh, it's you, go. Phew. Nearly comfy. One more inch. <laughs> What's that noise, Gull? I hope it's not a ghost day. <laughs> What's going on? Where's Muck? He just went off somewhere. I'm not surprised. I think you might have scared him. What do you mean? That cement dust makes you look like a ghost. And he thought you were scary enough already. Oh, dear. We'd better go and find him. Oh. <laughs> there he is. Mark! Mark! Oh, the ghost again! Oh no, what have I done? Oh. Mark! It's okay. It's just me and Philip. I thought Philip was a ghostie. <sighs> what are you lot doing it? Oh no, the jacks are all dented and broken. It's all my fault. No, I'm the one to blame. I took Muck's shed and made him sleep outside. Then I scared him into the workshop. I'm sorry, Muck. I've been a terrible guest and I've been very rude to you. That's OK. It's going to take time to get new cylinders. How are we going to finish your garage before you bring Mayor Snipe to the town hall? If only you drove as slowly as me. It'd take you ages to get there. Muck, you've just given me a wonderful idea. Once the green paint dries, we can start on the next part of the build. Don't worry, Leo, I'm here. Huh? Hi there, folks. So, what goes with a new drive through at a milkshake bar? That's right, a new milkshake menu. Scoop! Scoop! Thanks for the cheers, guys, but I'm still on camera. I don't think they were cheering, Scoop. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, no. I messed up. And it's all on camera. Scoop. We better clean up the paint before it dries. Oh, how 
can I be a star if Leo stopped filming? Hi, Bob. Hi, Wendy. The drive through window is all ready now. I just need you to install the inside intercom, please. No problem. But how about a break first? Chef Tatty said we could help ourselves to a milkshake. Brilliant. I've always wanted to create my own milkshake. Now, what should I put in? Two bananas, a sprinkling of raisins, loads of peanut butter, a oh. squeeze of lemon, uh. ooh, and a spoon of wobbly jelly. Really? All those ingredients? Together? Just you wait, Wendy. This milkshake is going to be smooth and delicious. I forgot the ice cream and milk. Now it looks smooth and delicious. Smooth? Yes. Oh, but not that delicious. Um. Paint dry. Check. Arrows done. Check. So, the next thing to film is... The building of the curb that will separate the car park from the drive through Hey, Leo! You should film me breaking up the ground to make the new curb! It'll be great! Thanks, Scoop, but I haven't filmed Muck yet. Uh... You want to film me? Are you sure? Just tell the camera how you clear away dirt. Oh. I, um... Um... I... Uh... Don't worry, Muck, I've got this. As you can see, breaking up the ground makes a lot of mess. So we have to clean up after ourselves. Scoop, you're going to hit the... Oops! Oh, intercom unit. Hi! Hey, Wendy! Hi, Bob! Hi, Lucy! Whoa! Bob and Wendy are building you that treehouse. Wendy's my hero, and she can build anything. Right, Wendy? And we can hold our first club meeting today at tea time. You want the treehouse finished today? Yes, please. That's OK, isn't it, Wendy? Of course. Brilliant! Thank you! It'll be the best clubhouse ever. Bob and Muck, you go back to the yard and cut the timber for the support beams. Lofty, you stay here and help me, and then I'll call Dizzy to pour cement for the foundations. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Floor painted. Check. Paint drying. Check. Ah, right. I'm here to help get the treehouse ready. Um. Safi, wait! The paint's not dry! Wendy! We can put our biggest trophy inside the treehouse. No, Safi, wait! This is pouring in cement. Well, that's enough waiting. I need to finish the treehouse. How's it going, hero Wendy? Help! What was that? Safi! Help! Why were you up there, Safi? The treehouse isn't ready yet. <gasps> The trophy! Don't worry, Safi. I'll get it. Oh, it's too far down. Oh. <gasps> Letting go! My hero! Team, I need all wheels on deck. Now! The cement is dry, so the treehouse is ready to use. Whoa! Thank really you! Amazing! I want one! I want one! I want one! <sighs> Room in your schedule for three more, Wendy. Of course. 
Well, <gasps> it's very strange, Mr. Bentley. We still can't find any reason for the alarm to be going off. Well, in that case, there's only one explanation. It was a ghost. A ghost? Come on, you two. There are no such things as ghosts. Oh. But Mr. Bentley said that was the only explanation. Oh, I'm sorry, Lofty. That was just a joke. We'll have to leave the alarm off and stay here to see if we can find out what can be triggering it. I'd be happy to patrol the rear of the town hall, Bob. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. Wendy and I will stay inside. And Lofty, mm. you and Dizzy watch the front of the building. OK, team? Oh, yes, sir. yes! Yes, sir, Bob, sir. Ew. Don't worry, Lofty. If we do see any ghosts, I'll keep you safe. Um, OK, then. There's definitely no problem with the wiring on these sensors. We'd better check the rest of the building, then. <laughs> Look! What was that? Is that a ghost? No, that's just an owl, Lofty. Phew. That's OK, then. Hmm, at least I think it was. What? I'd better check the side of the building. I'll only be a minute. OK. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as... Oh, oh. Hurry up, Dizzy. She'll be back in a minute. That's only 60 seconds. 59, 58, 57. Hmm. Um. 30, 29, 28... Lovely. Ah! Lovely. Ah! It's me, Dizzy! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Are you OK? Hmm, all clear here. Better see how Lofty and Dizzy are getting on. That's it. Just breathe <sighs> slowly. In and out. In <sighs> and out. <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, we've checked the rest of the building, so the answer must be in Mayor Madison's office. Huh? Oh, ah! We can't have a medieval festival without a castle, can we? I'm very excited about my starring role in the festival tonight. Oh. The castle doesn't have a portcullis. Let's get Bob onto this straight away. Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. We'll be there right away. OK, we need to build a portcullis for the castle. Now, does anyone know what a portcullis is? It's like a big gate that can be lifted up and down. And it looks as if we've got some repair work to do on the drawbridge, too. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Make sure you secure your winch, Leo. OK, Wendy. Oi! How dare thee trespass! I command thee to retreat, foul beast! Leo, is everything secure? Take this and that! <laughs> Leo! Leo! That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? <laughs> <sighs> Guess I'll just have to find a different way out. <laughs> what was that? What's wrong, Leo? I think it's a ghost. You're no match for the gallant prince, Pixelot. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, Leo. Just sit tight. I've got a brilliant plan to get you out. First, we're going to need to fix the drawbridge so it's strong enough for Muck to cross. It's heavy. Oh, who's there? 
Skull? Is that you? Hello, Your Majesty. My, my, you look like you've seen a ghost. I didn't startle you with my fabulous vocal warm-ups, did I? Of uh, course not. <laughs> right. There you go, Prince Fix-a-Lot. Um, thanks a lot. Yay! Yay! Well done, Bob! Well done, team! Bye, thanks, Bob. Bob! The castle is ready for the festival. Yes. You can dig out the line of uprights nearest the slipway. There's not so much seaweed there, but you must still be very careful. Yes! Oh, I will, Bob. Promise. Fantastic mode! Oh, that was lucky. Right, it's digging time at last. Oh, oh. Oh, Bob was right. This is really slippy. Oh, slipping, slipping, slipping! Oh! Glad you could join in, Scoop. Thanks, Stretch. Ew. There, one jetty finished. One more to go. Oh no! Stretch is almost finished. I have to work faster. Oh, but it's too slippery to dig properly. Ah. Three rows, all done. Great work, Stretch. One row left. Would you like me to help you, Scoop? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, thanks, Stretch. I can finish it. No problem. OK, you've got it. Bob, I'm ready for my pile driver. Oh. Whoa! Uh, Scoop, aren't you digging a bit too wide and a bit too deep? No, it's spot on. My digging is never wrong. Hmm. I'm not so sure. <laughs> there you go, Stretch. Oh, thanks, Bob. Great. Now I'm ready to pound in those uprights. Ooh, those are deep holes, Scoop. And really wide. No, they are not, Muck. They're just fine. <sighs> yeah. Whoa. See? All done. See how these fit. One of mine. Yes, perfect. And one of scoops. Oh, that can't be right. Maybe the pole's bent. But try another one of mine, Stretch. Dear, that is not good. That's a big hole. How did that happen, Bob? It was the huge storm we had last night, Muck. Big waves crashed against the wall and damaged it. Good morning, Bob. I do hope you can fix this today. Hello, Mr. Bentley. Yes, I'm sure we can. Thank goodness. We can't have our seawall turning to rubble. Tomorrow's the start of the spring holidays. People will be coming here to have fun. Who'd want to spend time on a beach covered with rubbish? Oh? Oh, dear me, you're right, Lofty. That's not good. And there's flotsam and jetsam everywhere. Flotsam what, Mr Bentley? A flotsam and jetsam. It's what we call things that float in the sea and eventually get washed up onto beaches like this lot. So it's all rubbish? Well, mostly. But as a boy, I used to go beachcombing. Oh, the hours I spent searching the sand for anything special or interesting. <laughs> oh. Yuck. However, right now, I need the beach to look perfect for our visitors. Well, I can work on the wall while Lofty Muck and Scoop clear the beach. Easy peasy! No problem. Thanks, Bob. I'll leave it to you. 
See you later. Bye. Woohoo! Look, he's Curtis. Where's he going? I think he's off to do a spot of fishing muck. Now then, let's get to work. Yes, I Who knows what treasures there might be among the flotsam and jetsam? Oh, really? If we're lucky, we might find something really, really special. <gasps> like that piece of driftwood. Oh. That's not special. It's no good for anything. Except the bin. It's good for looking at, Scoop. It's like a work of art. It's beautiful. Beautiful? Just looks like a piece of old wood to me. Well, to me it's beautiful, and I'm going to look for more pieces of driftwood. Say so yourself, I'm going to do some clearing. OK, guys, time to get this beach ready for some spring fun. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! Great, more rubbish. Morning, all. Hi, Bob. Hello, Safi. New dog, Tilly? No, I'm just looking after him. Oh, ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me one moment. Morning. Yes, this is the vet. Can you speak up? <laughs> Right, Safi? Yes, fine, thank you. What? I think Cooper likes to chase cats. You, Cooper. Maybe you should have a reception area that keeps cats and dogs separate. And could you build that for me today, Bob? Oh, that would be great. Right, I'll do that then. Right, team. We're going to turn the vet's reception area into two rooms. Wait a minute. This makes a really loud noise. It might scare Pilchard and Cooper. I can take care of Pilchard and Cooper. I'm really, really good with animals. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Bob, shouldn't the new door be in place by now? I'm waiting for Leo to take Cooper. Don't worry, I'll take Cooper. Good, Pilchard. Quickly now. I need to go get Cooper! That didn't go quite to plan. Cooper! Look out! Hey! Don't dogs like to play ball? OK, let's get this job finished. Yes, yes Bob! Bob. Taking our photograph. It's for the town hall newspaper, you know. Of course. No problem. Cooper! No! Not Lady Tibble! Oh! 